All right, it's time for Learn Wake Analysis. This is a video uploaded by one of our members, uh, DT Gold, uh, looking for help on the heel side, front side 360. So let's check this out. Um, also, maybe a tip or two on the switch back roll. So uh, the biggest thing I see is there's a little tiny nitpicky bad habit being formed on your Ollie 360. So let's go back to the beginning of the video and check out what you're doing with your head position. And this is being really, really picky, but it can f cause problems with your wake-to-wake -wake and your one-wake versions. So let's check it out. So this setup, everything looks great, but you see how you brought your head around to the boat right there? Um, what that does on a one-wake or a two-wake uh, attempt is it actually brings your upper body too much forward uh, can make you fall over the nose of the board and can make the tail of the board slide out a little bit towards 540 which makes the landing a little bit uh, slippery and hard to control so let's rewind this um, look at the attempt again and then pause it right here right here you should be trying to keep your chin at your back shoulder and you should be looking away from the boat down the boat path while the nose of the board finishes the 360 just to engrave the proper balance position and landing position for the 360. So this is where the bad habit um, and the out of control landing is getting engraved for the one wake and two wake version. I think if you fix that uh, you'll have better success at your your 360. Let's look at um, a couple 360 attempts. Um, let's check and you can kind of see the same problem. Let's find a so another issue that I want to point out too is uh, the front leg being straight and coasting tall. Try to make sure as soon as you finish edging out and you go flat to coast that you sit down and finish the coast seated. You don't want to coast tall and then sit after the turn. That, that'll mess up your edge and your pop as well. So let's look at your head position as you come around for this. Uh, that wasn't a good example. I want to show you. Yeah, this one. So see right there as we can actually see your face on the landing let's check it out again so I mean these aren't bad attempts but right there we can see your face let me see if I can pause it at the right time so everything's good and then boom I missed it again but you can see your face coming around especially on a the two wake attempts. See right there, you're looking straight at the boat. If you were, if your chin was at your back shoulder and you were looking back away from the boat down this boat path, uh, you'd have a, a more stable landing, I think. It'd feel weird, but there's a drill you can do. Um, you can actually practice it with just normal heel side wake jumps. Um, what you do is you take a normal approach, you do a normal heel side wake jump with two hands, leaving the wake with two hands, and then in the air you let go with your back hand. You land with only one hand on the handle, but when you hit the water, you try to have your head at your, you know, your chin at your back shoulder looking down this boat path. So you do that as you make impact and you ride out of the trick with your chin at your back shoulder looking away from the boat. It feels weird at first. And I imagine if you uploaded a few attempts of that, like your first attempts would be a little bit unstable and a little bit um, out of control. And that kind of shows where you're, you're at with your heel side 360 landing. So. Let's check out a wake-to-wake -wake version, and so same thing. See how we see your face right there? That just brings your shoulders around too far and actually makes the tail of the board over-rotate slightly enough um, to 540, and it's just an unstable landing. So if you kept your chin at your back shoulder, your eyes looking away from the boat, um, practice that drill with that landing position, engraved it during the Ollie 360 uh, chin at back shoulder as well, I think you'll have a lot more success at your 360s. Don't forget another option for practicing um, these 360s is you can do them off the inside out roller as well. So if you started right here, edged and popped off this inside out roller and then, and then landed um, with your chin at your back shoulder, uh, that's another good way to practice your 360s and just get used to taking a little bit more impact. So I think that's your fix. Let's check out and see if there's a switch back roll on here. Yeah, same 
Kind of the same issue as the 360. I mean, this has to do with uh, handle position. Um, I mean, that's a really good switch back roll, by the way. Uh, starting position looks great. Uh, you're loading the line, starting really slow and then really loading the line. Nose of the board goes away from the boat great, but on the landing, the tail of the board is coming towards revert, but look where the handle is. The handle is in the wrong position. Right here, you should be pushing the handle out towards the flats to stop that rotation and put the tail back in the right position. Because remember, progressive heel side back rolls naturally want to go to revert. You're trying to, when you do a normal back roll, you're stopping that natural rotation and forcing it, forcing the tail of the board back to the back roll landing. So that's just a handle move. If you move the handle for you out to the right, out to the landing side shoreline, that'll stop your rotation and put the board back where it should be. So very easy, easy fixes. Um, for the heel side, front side 360, chin at your back shoulder, practice that wake to wake jump drill, landing with one hand, chin at your back shoulder. And then for the switch heel side back roll, just push the handle hard to the right out towards shore to stop the rotation and put the tail of the board back where it should be. All right, thanks for uploading the video.